Welcome to Appliances lesson. This lesson is really exciting, I tell you. This is the most important one for most of the students. Most important in the sense it can make difference in both energy consumption as well as environmental protection. Because we use a lot of appliances at home. We use a lot of energy for these appliances. In this chapter, we are going to learn the basic operating principles of most of the residential big ticketed items, for example, refrigerators or water heaters. Water heater is one of the you know, most energy consuming appliances. And we'll talk about clothes washers, dryers. Uh, we're not going to look at how to do the laundry, but we are going to look at the basic operating principles. In other words, how these things really operate what are all the things that govern the energy consumption? And what are all the things that we need to look for when we buy uh, some of these appliances? And how to do a cost-benefit analysis. So to do that, we will learn how to read energy guide labels. Energy guide labels are uh, uh, one of those that, uh, you know, that stick out on most of these appliances, if you look at these yellow, um, ugly-looking kind you know, of appliances. These give you uh, the amount of energy that um, a model consumes. So when we go shopping, I'm sure you're all going to do that, that with your honeys in a few years. And uh, when you do that, you're going to compare. You're going to look at you know, a couple of models or three or four or five models and see, okay, honey, this is better than this. This is you know, worse than this and so on. What are the factors that go in just to compare different models and pick the right one, both with respect to energy consumption as well as environmental protection? So you're going to learn, actually, what kind of information uh, we're going to get from these uh, energy guides and how this can be used to compare Model A versus Model B. For example, Model A may cost $400 and Model B, whatever that might be, may cost five hundred dollars uh, what you are basically deciding is is it worth to pay one hundred dollars extra to get uh, the benefits that this five hundred dollar model would give uh, in other words five hundred dollar model obviously should give you more features that you want or it should give you uh, energy savings in a long run for example if your energy bill is cut let's say by ten dollars um, every month. So it's going to take really about 10 months to recover the $100 that you're paying up front. So this kind of analysis is basically called life cycle analysis. What it would cost to buy a piece of equipment and to operate that over its lifetime. And we do that calculation for two models and see, okay, in the long run, uh, this model is going to be cheaper and environmentally friendlier than the other model. So we're going to learn that, how to do. That discussion will be very common for all the appliances. So this p calculation of payback period is the key for most of this lesson as well as the lessons to come. And uh, we will have several calculations. One of these is this payback period and we will also look at the refrigerators and calculate the efficiency of those refrigerators and using the efficiency we need to calculate how much energy these things consume. We will do that uh, with clothes washers and dryers and from here on you will also s encounter some acronyms, uh, eff energy efficiency terms so, so acronyms, uh, you will see some of those things uh, in this chapter. So you need to pay attention to those things. All right. And um, as I told you, these calculations are important and use of energy guide is the most important concept in this chapter.